Apple just got smashed because ChatGPT just revealed its biggest update since the launch of GPT-3 back in 2023, and they are aiming straight at Apple's most valuable product, the iPhone. Here is the thing, the iPhone is Apple's biggest source of revenue, but it's not because of the iPhone itself, it's because of the platform the iPhone created. Every time you buy an app in the App Store, Apple gets a share. Every time you pay with your iPhone, Apple gets a share. So the iPhone is an insane cash cow. But that might be coming to an end thanks to ChatGPT. First, let's put this into perspective. In just two years, ChatGPT exploded from 100 million weekly users to 800 million, faster than anything in tech history. Its API traffic jumped from 300 million tokens per minute to over 8 billion and more than 4 million developers are already building on it. But that is just the use of ChatGPT. Now OpenAI is taking it to the next level because they just announced their new apps platform. And this might be the next iPhone moment. Only this time it's powered by ChatGPT. To understand this better, we need to talk for a second about the iPhone revolution. It's 2007 and you are watching this. These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. It was revolutionary, something we had never seen before. I still remember the first time I used an iPhone. It was mind blowing. But here's the thing most people forget. The real revolution didn't happen that day. It happened a year later when Apple launched the App Store. That's when the iPhone stopped being a product and became a f platform. And almost 20 years later, we have some of the biggest tech companies in the world. Instagram, Uber, WhatsApp, TikTok. Entire industries built from nothing. That's the moment that turned Apple from a hardware company into one of the most powerful empires on earth. But today, in 2025, we're standing on the edge of another iPhone moment, and there is nothing Apple can do about it. What OpenAI just announced feels exactly like that 2008 moment all over again. I got goosebumps watching this guy. Some of this stuff has worked, some of it hasn't, but we've learned a lot along the way. And today we're going to open up ChatGPT for developers to build real apps inside of ChatGPT. This will enable a new generation of apps that are interactive. I know, he doesn't have the energy of Steve Jobs, but who does? However, that single moment is going to reshape the entire industry. From now on, the only interface you need for your apps is your voice. You don't open an app anymore, you talk to it. But honestly, I can't even explain it with words. You have to see it and feel it. This is so cool. Wait, what the? This is just incredible. I mean, wow. This is exactly how I imagine the future of a user interface. Just talk. Sorry, Apple. This is the future. Because now I don't need an iPhone anymore to access everything I need. I don't need your app store. I just talk and things happen. And the moment we stop relying on the iPhone operating system, we step into a completely new paradigm. One where conversation is platform. And here's the thing, the numbers already prove it. Hundreds of millions of people are already using ChatGPT every week. It's become so deeply integrated into daily life that nothing can stop it now. Okay, there might be one competitor left and that is Google. They've done this before with Android and maybe they will do it again with Gemini. But for Apple, if they want to survive this, they will have to do something they have not done in decades. Reinvent the way we use technology. Because for the first time since 2007, someone else just built 
the new iPhone moment. But do you know what really excites me? It's not the fact that Apple is losing its dominance, no. It's that a new platform has been born. And every time the world changes, there is a short window where anything is possible. In 2008, that window was the App Store. Overnight, people with an idea, not corporations, people built apps that shaped the next decade. Instagram, Uber, WhatsApp, it all started because the world had just moved to a new platform. And right now, that window has opened again. The entire way we interact with technology just flipped from touching to talking, from searching to asking, from doing things manually to just describing what you want. And you can build on top of it. You can take any idea, even one that already exists, and rethink it from a conversational perspective. This is the once in a lifetime moment when the interface changes. This is our opportunity. This is how the next generation of billion dollar apps will be born. Go and take your chance. Since you're still here, let me just get you up to speed on everything else OpenAI announced this week. Very quickly, they introduced Agent Kit and Agent Builder, a full suite for building and deploying AI agents from visual workflows design to evaluation and deployment. Then there is GPT-5 Pro, their new reasoning model with a 400,000 token context window. And also Sora 2, the new text-to-video model, now creates realistic videos with synchronized audio, and yes, it is insane. They also launched Codex GA, their coding agent that can work directly inside Slack. And finally, they announced a massive partnership with AMD to scale up to 6 gigawatts of GPUs, meaning a lot more compute a lot faster. So yeah, it's been a week. Apple's dominance might be shaking, a new platform was born, and we are just getting started. Thanks for watching and if you want to make AI work for you, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.